Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another event video. This is the first one of the new year 2023 in ESO. And this one is featuring the Season of the Dragon Celebration event. This will celebrate the Elsewhere zones in ESO, Southern and Northern Elsewhere. So in today's video, I will be covering when the event starts, how to participate, the rewards you can earn, and I'll be going over the event tickets and the new event morph. Thank you again to my patrons and members. I really do appreciate all the support. If you'd like to become a member, check out the link below in the description. You get early access to videos, you get access to our Discord, you get access, or our members only Discord, and you get access to getting your name up here in the videos and much more. So thank you for all that support. Let's hop into the video. So when this event starts is going to be Thursday, January 26th at 10 a.m. EST and runs until Tuesday, February 7th at 10 a.m. EST. Throughout this event, you will be able to get reward boxes like normal and then there's going to be normal reward boxes but there's always a big one that you can get which we'll talk about in here in a second but you'll get that from doing daily quests and various other activities again we'll talk about how to exactly get that here in a second but you also get increased drops to daily quests dungeons and trials throughout northern and southern elsewhere in order to do this event though you must have access to the elsewhere dragon hold wrathstone or scale breaker dlcs which are all available right now on ESO Plus, or you can purchase it from the in-game crown store. So again, in order to participate in this, you have to have those DLCs or parts of those DLCs to participate in this. Again, if you have ESO Plus, you'll have all of that, so you won't have to worry about it. So to start this event off, you will need to get the introductory quest, which is called Bane of Dragons. You can get that for free in the in-game crown store or from Samara, who is found near the Impress Ario tent outside of Rimen. Rimen is a city in Northern Elsewhere. So that is how you start the event. And so now let's go over the rewards that you can because there's a lot of different rewards you can earn and so starting off in order to get a glorious elsewhere reward box which you can get once per day you'll get this by finishing the first daily quest in northern or southern elsewhere or from your first sun spiral trial weekly quest completed so what that means is that is only once per day on your account throughout all your characters so if you complete a daily quest in northern elsewhere or you completed a, a daily quest in southern elsewhere or you complete the weekly trial quest or Sunspire, you will get that glorious box each day. And in the glorious Elsewhere reward box, that can contain the following items. You'll get a guaranteed one of the following items, a green, blue, or purple Elsewhere saleable treasure. So that means you can sell it to a merchant. You'll get guaranteed one of the following, a blue or purple Elsewhere overland set item. And then you'll have a chance for one of the following, an Elsewhere crafting style item, Elsewhere crafting style motif. So that's Anaquina, Pelotine, Dragon, Guard, Sealed of Sinchal, and the New Moon styles. And you'll have a chance for one of the following, Transmute Crystals, Dragon's Blood, Dragon's Plunder, Dragon's Room, Dragon's Bile, and an Elsewhere treasure map, Dragon document recipes, and a chance at the new Claw Dance Acolyte armor style page. A lot of rewards from just that box, but that is not all. There are a lot more rewards that you can earn in this event. And by the way, this is a great opportunity to run dragon public incursions because dragons usually are a little harder than uh, doing like hero storms or anything like that. But you can make a lot of money actually just selling the stuff you get from dragons. So definitely take advantage of doing the dragons with a bunch of people. There should be a lot of people. We'll be doing it on stream. So definitely come join us on stream. We'll be streaming today when this video releases on Thursday and throughout this event. So make sure to join on the dragon events because it is something that is a great way to make money. So in addition to that glorious box, you can earn a regular elsewhere reward box by participating in the following activities. Finishing the Bane of Dragons introductory quest, repeating daily quests, slaying dragons world bosses in northern or southern elsewhere, defeating Wrathstone or Scalebreaker dungeon bosses, opening treasure chests, opening safe boxes, looting objects such as barrel crates, etc., looting citric portals, cracking open thieves troves, harvesting crafting resource nodes, and these boxes can contain the following items. You'll get a guaranteed of one of the following, a green or blue elsewhere saleable treasure, another guaranteed one of the following, a green, blue, or purple elsewhere overland set item, and then a chance for these following items as well. The crafting style item, treasure map or survey report, the crafting style motif pages, so Anaquina, Pelotine, Dragon Guard, Sealed of Senchal, and New Moon styles, transmutation crystals, Dragon's Blood, Dragon's Plunder, 1k sellable, at Dragon's Room, dragon's bile and a chance for one of the following which is the dragon documents and the claw dance acolyte armor sub page so in those boxes though it's a little bit of a less you know rarity chance to get those so that's something you have to keep in mind so obviously the glorious one you have more of a higher chance to get some of those items but basically you can earn these boxes by just doing daily quests basically anything in elsewhere or in those dlc dungeon packs 
you can basically earn these boxes. So you're gonna get a lot of elsewhere boxes in this event. But now let's move on to the event ticket side of things because this is what people also want to know. So with this event, this starts the newest event ticket or event morph pet that we can get for to uh, 2023. And so what that means is, is there's gonna be four different morph rewards, one for each quarter this year, and then the pet will be there all the time. So the pet this year is that Passion Dancer Blossom pet. And so it's like a petal. A lot of people aren't super excited about it, but we'll see what it turns into. But the first upgrade that you can get from this pet is a personality. There's only one fragment for that personality right now. The other two fragments will be in later events in Q1. During this event, you will receive one event ticket for the first daily quest completed in Northern Elsewhere and another for the first daily uh, quest finished in Southern Elsewhere. So you have to complete a daily quest in Northern Elsewhere and a daily quest in Southern Elsewhere. That's how you get the two event tickets. That means you can earn 26 event tickets during the event. And remember, you do not want to be full on event tickets. Go to your currency tab and look and see. You don't want to have 11 event tickets or 12 event tickets. Make sure you have 10 because it just allows you to have a good buffer. And if you're at 12, you will lose that event ticket for the day, which really, really sucks. So make sure you're not full there. How the event tickets work is obviously you have the Impresario and you use those event tickets to get the different fragments for the Passion Dancer Blossom Pet. So there's the Chartreuse Lily Petals, the Enchanted Silver Flute, the Mystical Sheet Music. Each of those costs five event tickets. So that's 15 event tickets to get the full pet. You'll then have to combine that to make the pet. And then in order to get the personality, you will end up consuming your pet and morphing it into the personality but you can only get one fragment right now for the personality and that fragment should be 10 event tickets we'll talk more about that later in events later on this quarter you can also get bound style pages for the following which are claudance acolyte armor pack impress aria group repair kits uh, the Companion Guild accommodations and a Season of the Dragon celebration will serve as your first opportunity to obtain this year's Morphing Collectible. Again, the Passion Dancer Blossom Pet. All of this information is on their website article, which I will have linked down below in the description. But I, for one, am excited about the Elsewhere event. I didn't get to play it last year because I was actually moving, but this event is a great opportunity for you to gain experience, a great opportunity for you to gain a lot of gold and really just play the game with other players. There's going to be a lot of people in Northern and Southern elsewhere. And again, this is a great opportunity to grind dragons or various other activities. But if you guys did like this video, make sure to like the video and let's try to hit 500 likes because that just makes me happy. And make sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon. But I will have other videos up here in the top of the screen. Thank you again to my members and patrons. But just remember y'all to have faith, be great. And I'll see you on ESO.